Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. Picked up the irregulars. I'm trying to incorporate more soft food. I'm not eating no dog food. I was doing too much and not making enough. You ever eating a grape like this? They look so weird and at first I was like, mm, no thank you. You know I can't talk about that. Next. Next question. I almost forgot about this homemade, uh, I juice some apples. Not a whole bag of red apples. I was gonna eat them, but I was like, you know, I might as well juice them. I love juicing. I mean, when you think about your favorite juices, whether if it's peach or watermelon, when you end up juicing it yourself, it tastes just like the store-bought. So imagine that without all those other ingredients and you still get that sweetness. So it's like you're not missing out on nothing. When I tell you these taste just like the regular apples, the apple juice that you get from the store or 7-Eleven. And this is actually Zakia's bottle because I drank my other one. She ain't drank it yet, so I am going to drink it because she's taking her time. I've been getting these headaches and I actually went to the library to kind of try to do a little bit of research because they've been worrying me. They're really consistent for two weeks and now they've kind of lightened up a little bit but it's still a cause for worry and I want to sit baby down and have a conversation and hopefully she's really supportive in us figuring out what's really going on because I really think that it's at the point where I need to see somebody. Long day. I think I got to go to the library though. Hey girl. <laughs> baby. Hey. Hey. Hello baby boo. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Wait. What? How's come and having these stupid ass headaches? Okay, so about two to three weeks ago, Baby was actually on set. She had did, had to do a photo shoot for her fashion line. And I was at home by myself, so I was working on, I was doing some editing. And all I remember is I like had this like very slight sharp pain in my head and I was like, don't flip out, don't trip out, Zakia. Cause what I do know is that sometimes when baby goes and I don't go with her or whatever and I'm home by myself, I can freak myself out. So sometimes like the acid reflux will start up, I have a little flare up or um, just different things in my body will start to happen and I'll start to like, I have to be like, calm down, it's okay, right? I think your mind can help it spiral out, like even make it worse. So I got this little headache and I was like, well, let me just take some two Advil's. I'm not about to bother her. It's no big deal. But it was persistent. I like had to get off the computer, go sit down, go lay down to try to like, because then it started having like pressure at the top of my head. It felt like someone was sitting on top of my head. And I was like, why am I feeling like this? I took some hair, I, I had hair in my head. I took some hair out. I was like, I, got, I don't know what it, what it is, but I don't like the feeling. So I was like, just let me try to do other homeopathic stuff. So let me drink some tea. Let me drink a lot of water. Cause sometimes when you are lacking water and you're dehydrated, your body can make other things happen. So I was really just trying to figure it out and it never went away for about two, for about two and a half weeks. It never went away. Can you imagine? Okay. I'm gonna take these shoes off. Oh. Damn, it's been going on like what, two weeks? So that week when Zakia had those headaches, uh, I was I had a lot to, 
do with our shame. We have the photo shoot and everything. And initially, of course, you're not going to think that it's serious because, you know, sometimes you get random headaches and it's just that. I think when it continued and she started to have these, like, headaches on the daily throughout the day, it was like, okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, what? I don't know. Mm. Why well, have been having these really bad headaches? You know, it's been literally feeling like I have a book on top of my head. Having pain on the top of your head, like literally right here around your crown, it feels like, so it kind of feels like pins and needles. So a little numb feeling, but it also feels like just weight. Like you're being pushed down. Like if somebody literally came and just pushed on top of my head, that's how it feels. It is intense. Yeah, I know you've been saying that what? for a minute. You need to get that checked out. Have you called the doctor? Have you set an appointment? Mm-mm. I'm gonna call him today. And yeah. try to see if I can at least get on the phone with her. Mm-hmm. Because, um, uh, I don't know. But, you know, because my dad had a brain aneurysm. Right. So, my sweet daddy. I love my daddy. Hey, daddy. <laughs> my daddy had a brain aneurysm in his 30s, mid-30s, I think, late 30s. And um, I'm happy he caught it. it. It happened like I think my mom said that he had had like a couple headaches, but I know they were a lot sharper than the things I've been dealing with. But like sharp headaches for like two or three days, and he was like, "Why am I feeling this pain?" So he decided to take himself to the hospital in St. Louis. He went over to the hospital, and um, the doctor said nothing was wrong. He went home. He was still experiencing it, it was sharp pain. He went back to the hospital and he said something's wrong. And they did a scan, I guess, and they found out that he was having a brain aneurysm. And they Im immediately did surgery and saved his life. Um, he doesn't really talk about it much and I haven't heard the full story of everything, but I'm just happy that he's here. He has a little scar right here on his head, but they saved him. So, um with me going through these headaches, it was really a scare for sure. It's a scare still. It like makes me want to figure out what it is because I But don't think that. You get a headache and you think all kind of stuff is Yeah. Yeah, you I just started looking at stuff. That's not good mentally though. That's that's really not good. Because how can you ever be at peace? You give yourself a worse headache. Web and D. Probable causes and all that and then by then it's like but it will put my, my mental yeah. at peace. You push through like a big baby though. <sighs> oh, oh my God. Have I said the name before? Yeah, we said it. I said it before. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Okay. 